All right, so here we are in Twitter. We've done the basics. We've got some people that we followed. And now I'm going to show you a little bit more about Twitter and some of the more advanced things you can do. One thing I want to make sure that, I, that you know is that there's tons of different ways to do Twitter. You don't just have to go to Twitter.com. One of those ways is by downloading an app. Uh, the, one of the most popular ones is called TweetDeck. It's available at TweetDeck.com. And it's available on all the different devices, on your desktop, PC or Mac, iPhone, Android. There's even a Chrome app. And what it does is it takes your Twitter account and it puts it in a more user-friendly way. So you can add pictures easier, video easier, you can reply to things easier, you can make lists. It's just a different way of doing Twitter. Another one that you can do is Hootsuite. And again, this is another free download. It's not one that I personally use. I use TweetDeck. But this is another way that people have said that um, is a good way to manage your Twitter account. It's also important to note that every mobile device that you have can be linked to Twitter. You just got to find the app for it. They're usually all free. I know the iPad and the iPhone have free Twitter apps and they work great. Alright, next thing I want to do is I want to show you a little bit more about how to organize your tweets. So, once you get into Twitter and you follow a lot of people, right now I'm only following five, and you can already see how much stuff I've got in my account. If you follow tons of people, you're going to get overwhelmed with their information. One way to organize that is to do a list. If you click on lists and you go to create a list, you can manage your um, follower or the people that you follow. For example, if I just want to do a list with just the educators that I follow, I could create it, save it, and then add people to it. To add people to the list, you can either search for their name or you can go to your following page. And whichever people that you want to add to the list, you're just going to click on their account. And over here on their little profile pic, you can add it to the list. Ed educators, and then there you go. She's in there. And if you have more than one list, they'll all pop up there, so you can organize it that way. Now let me just add one more person to my list. I'm going to add Terry Friedman. Add him to my list. Educators. And now when I go back to my home page, if I click on lists and I do um, my educator list, oh, it's not popping up. Let me refresh real quick and I click on that list, it's going to show me just the updates from those people that are within the list. So that way you can separate your account so that you can kind of organize it a bit. Have the educators in one list, if you follow entertainers you can do that, if you follow politicians you can do that, if you follow companies you can put them in a separate list, but it's a way to organize your um, Twitter feed. Another thing I want to show you is how hashtags work. I'm going to come back to my timeline and I mentioned this in the other video but a hashtag is a, a shortened abbreviation of something and it's preceded by a pound sign. Now what that does in Twitter is it organizes conversations around topics. So for example, uh, there's a symposium coming up, for Forum Symposium, it's all online, all free, a great three-day um, event, and it's, th and it's the third one. So they've created a hashtag, RSCon3, which is Reform Symposium Con Conference 3, and when you click on that hashtag, it's going to give you all the different tweets that are referring to that conference. So if you want to follow a certain topic or a conference and it's got a hashtag, you can do it very easily in Twitter. Another popular hashtag that we might find as we go in here, EdChat is a good one, eLearning. If I click on Learn Chat, you're going to get people that are uh, chatting just about that topic. It's a way of tagging your post. So if I want to, in my own post, tag it, I would just put uh, found this great resource. And then if I want to share it to the people that follow EdChat, I just put a pound EdChat. And then, they'll, and then whenever they go to search for EdChat, it'll pop up in their timeline and they can check it out. Hashtags are a really good way of organizing all of this Twitter feed that you get to see. All right, well, that was basically what I wanted to show you and some of the advanced things. There's a lot more to Twitter than what I've shown you. Um, keep reading. Keep experiencing it. If you have any trouble with it, you can contact me on Twitter. My name is EdTechSteve, uh, this guy right here. And uh, just let me know if you need help. Mm -hmm.